All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about the uh, rebel scooters that seem to be taking over New York City. Let's check it out. What's going on, YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. And if you um, live in New York City or in an outside borough, such as Brooklyn, where we're at right now, then you've definitely seen these before. And you've seen this guy, and you've seen this girl. And you see in all sorts of nonsense related to it. But I figured, you know, this definitely, just because I want to see what folks think about it who do subscribe from uh, New York City, I also kind of want to see a little bit of what folks think about if you're not from New York, because I wonder if uh, something similar is going on in your city. But basically, I'd say by the fall of last year, these scooters just kind of started slowly popping up. And then by the summer, they were just kind of everywhere. Like I'd see them all the time, man. So kind of the way it works is like you download an app and I guess it kind of charges you by the mile. And then when you're done, you kind of just leave it wherever you leave it. And then uh, the next person who needs it finds it on their app, and then that's it. They keep going. You know, they they've thought out some things, right? They do uh, they do provide the um, they do provide you with a helmet, etc. But uh, that's really it. So I guess it's kind of like um, our city bike system out here in New York. But you know, it's kind of like um, the smart car system, where you know it's like a car to go, but it's just with a uh, scooter right so I don't know I have I have mixed feelings about the whole thing to be honest um, there's definitely a part of me that um, thinks it's a good thing for the city but then there's also a part of me that I look and I see and I make observations Ooh. And uh, some of the things I see gives me some concerns about the whole thing. So what I'll do is in this video, um, I guess I'll share with you some of the concerns I have and then I'll come back and I'll do a video about some of the positive things that I think um, kind of come from it, right? All right, so concern number one with the whole Rebel Scooter thing here in New York City is that it does not require a Class M license. So what that means is you can have someone download this app and get on these things who has never ridden a motorcycle or a motorized scooter before, which kind of just boggles my mind. So you don't really have any licensing to say like, hey, this person has a certain amount of experience, this person has done X, Y, and Z on a motorcycle or a scooter. It could literally just be anything, right? So to me, that's just like a little bit problematic, right? And uh, I think we kind of like see, I kind of observe the, um, I, I observe the result of that, which is a whole bunch of crazy things I see these people do, right? Just crazy maneuvers that I see being made. Um, watching a lot of these guys park these things is like the funniest thing you've ever seen. It's either like you're going to sit there and watch someone try to back this thing up for 10 minutes or you're just going to see them point it towards the curb and just park it with the nose facing towards the curb, which um, I don't think I've ever seen a biker do before. It's really funny to see it, but you see it all the time around here because it's like they're not confident enough to back it up accurately. So they figure, okay, let me just point it towards the curb and leave it. I mean, if you think about it, like if you were never going to ride your bike again, and you don't really care about pulling out, you know, you might do the same thing. And I mean, another thing 
Another thing that we witnessed once is we were actually taking a car home. And I'm just looking through the side and I'm literally watching. So like here, here's what I'm talking about, see? We can't even do a video without seeing one. There you go, the Rebel Scooter. <laughs> but um, we're taking a car home and I'm literally just watching this guy and this girl, right? The guy's operating the scooter and the girl has her arms around him. And she's literally has her phone out. So she's not even really holding on to him. She's just holding on to her phone and she's just texting and like looking over his shoulder while the dude is like trying to operate the scooter. And um, and then you know I, I had to I had to get a shot of it. It was too good. And then I realized like as we get a little further, she's going in between of like texting and doing her social media and also just giving the dude directions. It doesn't take a genius to um, realize that that's probably not a good idea. So yeah, the the whole like license thing. I'm not saying. What I'm not saying is I'm not saying that everyone should have to get a full Class M for that. But what I am saying is there should be some real basic training before we uh, put people on the road with these types of things, right? Alright, so concern number two with the whole thing. And that is the whole, uh, the whole gear thing around it. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've seen... People, uh people riding these scooters with just straight up not even wearing a helmet and seemingly just getting away with it right flashback man rebel scooter no helmet what's going on with these guys running a red light adios mio see rebel it doesn't pay to run all those red lights and not wear a helmet i'm still gonna blow by you on my dyna there's no app for this though End of flashback. Like, I, I can't imagine riding around here without a helmet and getting away with it for too long before, like, getting pulled over for that. You just do not see riders, especially in the city, without helmets. So the whole, like, the whole gear thing, and I don't, I don't know if it's, like, the cops aren't cracking down on it, or maybe, maybe it's just not being, like, a... Uh, highlighted enough of the importance of wearing a helmet on one of these things or what it is but there just seems to be like a real issue and I'm talking like you're just seeing people on these things without helmets at times the standard is you see them a lot in the summer with shorts on flip-flops t-shirts no shirt just crazy things that you're gonna rarely see a biker do you know it's rare that I'm seeing a biker <laughs> in flip-flops don't get me wrong like it has happened I have seen it before but it's rare yeah so I think that again comes from the whole not having a class M or not going to an MSS course is you're not really realizing how important it is to wear some of that essential gear Alright, so thing number three, that's a concern, and that is there's just no kind of like culture established around, you know, renting a scooter. It's kind of, you're just in it to get where you need to go. I don't know if maybe like some folks are doing it to put it on their Instagram or whatever, but there's no, there's no culture. There's no like rebel scooter culture or rent a scooter culture, right? And the issue with that is like, you know, motorcycle culture is like very 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 strong you know if you're a biker you know that and the benefits of that is you know we get to share the best gear we get to share the best riding tips all this stuff you know we're in constant communication as bikers right no one's really going to a uh, scooter night right where you're gonna compare the best uh, gear and best practices for your uh, rebel scooter so I mean again the, the thing that, uh, the issues that that causes is no one's really talking, no, no one's becoming better or safer riders, and it's only a matter of time before something happens, you know? So I haven't really seen anything in the news about it, so I'm hoping that everyone's been safe and there hasn't been any major incidents, but with some of the uh, things that I've seen, it really is only a matter of time before something goes wrong, but again, not that I'm wishing that, 
just kind of seems like it's inevitable from what I'm seeing. So yeah, you know, the biggest thing is I just wish uh, folks would have some sort of basic training on two wheels before they do this thing. But finally, concern number four is I, I kind of I kind of have a problem that you could kind of just walk up and then all of a sudden just put yourself on two wheels without having to really do much. Whereas most of my friends that ride, you know, any biker, if you ever decide that you wanted to ride a motorcycle, you had to really put in the work to make that happen. And that's a lot of things, right? You most likely took an MSS course. You did a lot of practicing to learn how to control that bike. You uh, had to go to the DMV, not once, two times. One time for a permit, another time for your license, right? You have to practice constantly. You have to get insurance, right? You most likely have to drop some money and buy a motorcycle or buy a scooter, right? You, there's a lot of things you have to do that show that you are committed, you know? It's like almost like a rite of passage to have the privilege to, um, you know, do this thing that we love. So I guess the thing that is kind of annoying to me is you have these people like renting scooters and stuff like that and they haven't done any of those things. So kind of in my mind, like they really haven't earned the right to uh, be able to do this thing that we do and love so much and appreciate so much, you know? And you know, I just hope that the uh, riders out there do not, you know, take that for granted, you know, because again, you see a biker out there and like they had to do a lot of things and had to make a lot of commitments for them to be on that bike, you know, whereas it's just not the same when you see these scooters and that, that just kind of troubles me, you know. But those are my four concerns with these scooters that seem to be taking over my city. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Like, do you have them in your city or where you're from? Are you starting to see similar trends? Um, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? What do you guys think? But I will continue my um, next video where we talk about things I actually like about it in our next video. So check that one out if you want to leave this off on a more positive note. <laughs> if you want to leave it off on a negative note, then don't even watch that video. <laughs> Alright guys, but thanks for riding with me today. It's always great to have you all along. I'm gonna enjoy my day here with Jenny. And look at that. Did you see the watch for motorcycles? Let's see if it comes up again. But yeah, man, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our ride over here on the, uh, I don't know, Whitestone. Or is this the Triborough? I don't know, it's one of them. <laughs> but as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there, whatever you're riding, and however much training you have, just stay safe. Leave to ride another day, please, please, my people. And BK Lo is out.